would you please get the manager since you threw my receipt away? Print your order receipt, sir. I'm sorry? Print your order receipt. You found it? I can't return my $700 phone if you don't find it. You can go to Guido's Chicago Dogs. Guido's Chicago Dogs. In Kennesaw, Georgia. Best free Vienna beef hot dog you'll ever have. I spy with my little eye a piece of fucking shit. Hello everyone, Dreadly here. Welcome to a new episode. Today we're exploring the deep dark depths of YouTube in order to exploit the best talent that this site has to offer. So let me ask you, have you ever wanted to make a YouTube channel? Have you ever wanted to spread your message over hundreds of thousands of people? Maybe you wanted to get into all that YouTube drama and get famous. How about the millions of dollars you'll make in AdSense money? Imagine your own personal yacht in the middle of the ocean, your $5 million mansion on the coast of Italy, two Lamborghinis in a garage full of bookshelves. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. All I'm saying is, as soon as you become a YouTuber, your life becomes great, right? All ends seem to meet, all the bills seem to get paid. And with all the channels out today that are past a million subs, it seems like anyone could become a YouTuber, right? So why don't you start a channel? Why don't you become a YouTuber? It's okay if you're scared. Not everyone can do it by themselves. So I'm here to give you a three-step system on how to become a YouTuber today. Your first step is to be the most raging fucking prick you can think of. I'm sorry? Print your order receipt. You found it? You found it? You found it? You found it? I can't return my $700 phone if you don't find it. It's okay if you suck at YouTube, because as long as you're a prick to everyone, you're going to get views. You might get a lot of dislikes. But you don't care. As long as you get hate, you get more views. Step two, be a fucking dumbass. Mitchell, what are you doing now? I'm watching, wait, 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 don't take a video of this. Step one is essential to step two, because if you're only a dumbass, maybe people would feel sorry for you. Everyone loves a prick that's also dumb as fuck. And your last one, step three, be hateful to women or men, depending on your gender. Excuse me, ma'am. Where are your lady thongs? Ooh, this one smells like old ladies. Blueberries. Wow. Feminism is a huge topic of debate nowadays. What better way to get more views when you make fun of a whole population of people? No, but seriously, guys, that's just a joke. If you want to start a YouTube channel, then you should do it the right way. Making friends and having fun while climbing up to the top and subscribers. Making a schedule and sticking to it so your subscribers always have some new content to watch. Basically do everything except what this guy does. So of course, today I'm talking about surveillance camera artist. But first let me tell you how I met this legend. So just a few hours ago I was on YouTube strolling through and looking for some nice, fresh content to watch. Because that's what you do on YouTube, right? Then I stumbled upon this piece of work who is making new episodes by the hour. If he was making a new episode by the hour, that means he's got some pretty good content, right? Well, you couldn't be any more wrong, Tila Tequila. Because his channel is one of the most cancerous things I've seen on the internet so far. All of his videos seem to be under 30 seconds long, and featuring content like The nice boy feeds me by hand. I eat from Japanese sampler's hand. How to see around you while you make out. I don't know if it's just me, but this guy sounds like borderline serial killer. But let's dig into the depth of his problem, shall we? So without further interruption, exclusively on Dreadly TV, I give you the surveillance camera artist. Can you pour it for me, please? You, guys, you having a good day? I'm having a wonderful day. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? So let me get this straight. This asshole walked into what looks like a coffee shop, goes up to the counter, and asks the employee to fucking feed him. You can tell that the employee is absolutely dumbfounded by the look on her face and the tone of her voice. She's probably like, what the fuck is this guy on? 
And what a fucking asshole for going up and asking anyways. I mean, using people for your own fucking benefit is a fucking douchebag move, dude. <laughs> you like to document That's so good, thank really? you. <laughs> What the fuck? She did it again! And look at that fucking smug look on this douchebag's face. His dinosaur neck and toadstool haircut are really get on my fucking nerves. Speaking of his haircut, let's check to see how he got it. I'm at the Tony and Guy Academy in Marietta, Georgia. And I'm going to change my hairstyle. I swear to God, this guy always has the most smug look on his face. Like the world bows down to him. You guys might want to spray my head. I didn't wash my hair for seven days. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would you go out and tell someone that? I swear to god, the more videos I see of this guy, the more YouTube is fucking breaking. I mean, that's why I'm on here, because it's already fucking broken. I'm at Tony and Guy Hair Salon right now. This is the most expensive hair salon in all of Georgia. Uh, I think there's a guy named Tony that's gay and a guy that he's banging. I'm not sure. What? <laughs> you think that there's a guy named Tony who's gay and you think he's banging someone? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? This guy, man, how is he even allowed to get outside his fucking house? This is the kind of guy who needs to be tethered to his house with one of those ankle bracelets monitoring his every move, monitors when he goes outside. But you know what? I'm glad someone else is cutting his own hair because I wouldn't trust him with a pair of scissors. But let's give him a chance, guys. Maybe he's just having a really bad day. But either way, I'm getting a $50 haircut, so suck it. Do you give good scalp massages? I gave you one chance, surveillance camera artist. One fucking chance. And then you ruin it with that kind of bullshit. I mean, why the fuck would you ask a question like that? That's so fucking weird, dude. I mean, I have nothing against massages, but it was just the way he fucking asked it with that smug fucking look on his face. And you know for sure the reason why he's doing this. So he can look like an asshole on film and get more views. Good. That's what really counts when you get a haircut. This is that. Well, so about one more year until you graduate. What are you gonna be? Oh, a hairstylist, right? Yes, a fucking hairstylist, Mr. 20 Questions. And what's with this fucking stalkerish attitude? This guy's asking her pretty personal questions for a client. Good choice. Can you please massage my scalp while you're at it? Oh my god, this guy. Like, it's legitimately not funny anymore. It's just really, really fucking creepy. I mean, down to manipulating people, being a pathological asshole, and having people feed you by hand. He's already got the workings of your run-of-the-mill psychopath. Don't believe me? Well, let's go on to the next video. Excuse me, ma'am. Where are your lady thongs? Oh boy, I like lady thongs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we uncovered what our friend is. A fucking pathological fucking serial killer. I mean, it all adds up. He doesn't give a fuck. He goes into the store, records himself, goes up to the fucking thongs, and starts smelling them, regardless of them being worn or not. And the fact that he's doing this in front of children and other people, it only adds evidence to the case that this guy is severely fucked up in the head. Mm, this one smells like cucumbers. Mm. This one smells like watermelons. Ooh, this one smells like old ladies. Blueberries. Wow. Oh my god, why isn't anyone fucking stopping him? Isn't there fucking mall security or some shit? This guy is literally taking the whole fucking inventory of women's underwear and just smelling them to see how they fucking smell. It goes to show you that there is some truth in that statement that serial killers have a heightened sense of smell over everyone else. Well, I think that wraps up today's episode with the man, the myth, the legend, surveillance camera artist. 
Thank you for helping me expose some of the most talented YouTubers that the internet has to offer. If you like the content that I'm putting out, don't be afraid to push the like button. If you have any more talented YouTubers for me to check out, don't be afraid to leave it in the comments or get a hold of me on Twitter. Let's get to know each other. And lastly, don't be afraid to tell your dads and uncles about me. The more the merrier. If I get one dislike, yes, one dislike on this video, I will eat a Slim Jim. See you next time.